Welcome to Selenium Master Apache JMeter video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, I explained how to test performance of REST API using Apache JMeter. In previous video tutorial, I used the weather API for the example. In that example, I only use one city for the weather API performance test. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to use dynamic data from a CSV file for different city name in the weather API performance test. When testing performance of REST API application, if we use the same test data over and over again, the test data may be cached locally or on the server. So we cannot really test the performance of the REST API for different data set. In order to pass dynamic data for the performance API testing, we can use CSV file. Now let's look at the weather API application. This is the api.openweathermap.org slash data slash 2.5 slash weather for the parameter the Q equals the city name Tokyo country Japan and this is app ID so when I press enter on this URL this API returned data for Tokyo Japan and in the response Tokyo is in the response so if I change the city for different city name, let's say we can use London, UK, then we should be able to get the weather data for London, UK. Now let's change the city. London and country is UK. Now I press enter. So in this response, we have the city name London. By using dynamic data set for the Q parameter, we can test the performance of the weather API for different cities. Now let's look at how we can implement using dynamic data from a CSV file for different city name. For this example, I created a text file with comma separated city name and country. And each city country is in a separate row. So we have Baltimore, US, London, UK, Beijing, China, Tokyo, Japan, Moscow, Russia, and Sydney, Australia. And the file name is cityinfo.txt. And this file is located under the bin folder of the Apache JMeter application. For using this dynamic dataset, under the thread group, I added a config element and it's CSV dataset config. 
So CSV data config. The file name is this is Apache JMeter 3.0 and bin and city info.txt. Because this is installed on Windows platform, so I use double backslash for the pass. I defined two variable names. One is city, one is country. The delimiter is comma. So for allow coded data, I select false because I don't have string on the data. And recycle on end of file. So this means should the file be read from the start. on reading end or f. So I said true. Stops read on EOF. Should this read be stopped on reaching EOF? I said false. And sharing mode is current thread group. So in this HTTP request, so I added one more sampler add sampler this is the http request so in this http request the server name or ip is api.openweather.map.org and pass is data slash 2.5 slash weather now for the q parameter this is dollar sign and bracket city comma dollar sign bracket country so each city and each country is the variable defined on the CSV dataset config. So under this request, I right click, add assertion. So response assertion. I added one response assertion and pattern to test. Each response should contain a city name, uh, like London. If I use different city, the city name should appear in the response. Now added view result tree, and this will log the result. I can also view result in table, and this is a summary report. Now I clear all the previous log and save it. Now let's run it. Let's change the 10 to 20 times. So one user ramp up in one second and loop count is 20 times. Now I save it. Now I run it. So start now this is completed let's look at the, the result tree so all the request is completed so let's look at this is baltimore us and request has baltimore us and response data contains baltimore the second one is request is London UK and response data has London. The third request is Beijing. Request is Beijing China and response has Beijing. The next one is Tokyo Japan, Moscow Russia and Sydney Australia. If you look at view results in table, so we have total samples of 20 and average response time is 26. On the summary report, total sample, samples are 20, average 26. So this is the average response time. 
Now let's clear all and then let's change this red group. Let's say let's run this red group under five. The five user should ramp up in two seconds or it should be one second. That's fine because the response is under second. Now let's run it. So the test is completed. In this summary report, we have total samples of 100 because five user run in 20 times. That means total samples 100, average 21. And in the table, all requests are completed and average 21 and view result tree. So all of them are completed. If you look at different requests, each request has different city and country name. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can use CSV dataset config for passing dynamic parameter in your REST API testing. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com or you can visit Apache JMeter website for instructional articles. Thanks for watching.